Hi guys, in today's video, we are going to talk about one of my favorite deformers, and that's the displace, displacer deformer. So, I'll create a normal plane, and I'll add the displacer deformer. I'll come to the deformer menu, and we have displacer. I'll make it a child of the plane. And what the displacer does is it uses black and white image to deform um, objects, the points of objects. So, now we've added it, it's telling it to push it. 10 centimeters right but there's no color information to use so we have to give it a color information so we go to the attribute shading and we choose what we want to so i can actually come in here i can choose color we use fennel or like all the shaders in here that works so i can use gradient and everything so you let me use gradient for now and the gradient we can see what's going on right let me Orient the camera well. So the dark part, you see the black part is going down and the white part is going up. So if I should actually come back to the um, object and increase the height, you can see we can actually see the difference what's going on in here. So if I select and move this in, so that's the basic um idea or principle behind the displace um displacer. So you can actually come in here. Instead of the gradient, you can use noise and add a bit of animation to it and you start moving. So you can actually use it to create nice stuff like ocean and you know stuff like that. You know. So basically that's how the displacer works. So I'll go in here and I'll actually add like let's say a cube, right? I'll come and add a Let's say um, the displacer. Sorry, I'll add the displacer to the cube, and we can actually. So, for instance, we have our own material here. We can actually use the materials um, image to also affect our object. So, let me actually give the cube some points. Let me give it fifty by fifty. Right. Then I'll add it. I'll add this um material to the cube double click and i'll create less a noise right in here so you are going to use the materials noise to actually affect this displacer and to do that you come select the displacer come to the shading and we will choose custom right so i'll choose color and because if we, we immediately we choose one of these, we choose color, the, the channel, custom channel, choose color. It will give us a place where we have to put what object are in, what material are we referring to. So we can drag and drop it in here, or we can use this color, this picker to go and pick the material. So now you can see it's distorting the cube base on the noise of this um, um, material, right? But what's interesting about this is now it gives us control on how the noise should go. So, for instance, if I should come into the texture, right, select the um, the, the texture tag. Now I can actually scale the texture and have control over it. Let me actually change the projection to cubic so that we see. So now I can actually control the texture how we want it and everything i can come in here change let's say gradient right and now make it let me make it um plain or flat right so you can see how it's deforming the the cube right so it's an interesting way you can do several things this is just to show you how things work in here so you can just use this to actually control let me actually change it back to noise and see what happens so back uh, to noise and this what we have can come in here and there's one thing so this is displacing the object based on the um vertex normal so we can change it to spherical and we can also change it to planar and in the planar so now it's distorting it on the x orientation so now you can see we have interesting so interesting some interesting distortion you can change it again to let's say y 
Z and that one, everything. So basically, it's an interesting way you add colors to deform start your object. And it's it can be used for a lot of interesting stuff. It like can be used to be for ocean, for simulate some kind of clothes with a bit of jiggles and stuff. It's an there's a lot of way to play around it. So this is one trick sometimes I use the displacer to actually do. So there are some time there are some in some cases that you have let's say this object like this T, right? And I want like I wish I had another T, a, a duplicate version of it, which is slightly bigger in terms of a size up above this one, right? So you wish you could just duplicate it, just copy and scale it. Where is the scale to maybe um access go to mesh access center and make sure it's in the center, right? And you scale it so that let me actually add a color so that we see the D. So, so that I can kill it, right? And the red will slightly, will be slightly, you know, covering the white part. But, you know, when you scale it, it doesn't work. So let me, I've done it, but you can see it's scaling differently. And I think, the, I wish there was a way you can do it, like scale it with the normals or stuff. But typically, my way around it is, let me delete it. I'll use the, um displacer and now let me add the red right and now come in here deformers and now add a displacer make it a child of the red one right and now go into shading and now use color then i'll leave it at one now i don't want it to scale at this big so i'll just leave it at point um let me point one and you can see everything is still accord like with using the normal. So we have the white part in it. So if I should go ahead and actually delete, let's see one of these points for us to see. You see the white is in here and this one is slightly above it. So this is a trick. I always use the displace, displacer to scale my object using the tangents. So that's everything. So I, and you have a bit of control because you can actually set um how you want it to be so i can 0 0.01 and you still be right above the white one and you can use it to do a lot of inter interesting things like simulation or maybe reveal like the red one will reveal like get off so that the white one will reveal and stuff so there's another interesting way of using the displacer there are several ways that you can use like cinema 4d tools from your regular or usual way of doing using it but this is very interesting. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.